Loafy! What are you doing? You're just loafing around, eh? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. That is right, good afternoon. We've got a rather large afternoon ahead of us today. I got the uh, hat out, the sunny's on, the long sleeves on. And we are gonna go make some seed for the 2021 season. That's right, bit of seed cleaning. Let's go. Now, me and the old man have been sort of busy this morning, just moving a few bits of equipment over there, just, yeah, odd little things, making sure the augers are ready and over there and filled up and just pretty, pretty boring, tedious stuff. So I haven't bothered uh, having the camera with me for that stuff, but I'll uh, take, the, take the camera over for the main show and yeah, I just got a couple of things to unload here and we'll head over there. He said he'd be here at one and it's uh, 20 past one now. My goodness me. What are we gonna do with this seed cleaner? <laughs> no, to be honest, that's all right. Um, they are very, very busy people. They have a lot of seed to clean, a lot of customers. So he'll get here when he gets here. As long as we get the job done today, that's the main thing. So the plan of attack to start the day, we got the truck over there, we got beans in him. We'll start off with that, we'll get our, our, um, bean, our bean seed cleaned and then we may switch straight over to wheat. We got wheat in this bin here, so we might have to shuffle another one around. We'll clean straight out of that bin into another one and that'll be all our wheat done. Uh, while that's going on, we'll get some vetch out of the bin, uh, into the truck. We'll get the truck cleaned out, vetch into the truck. And then we'll clean the vet straight out of the truck back into one of these old seed silos here. And then to finish off in the big silo up the back, the 80 tonner, we got barley. So we'll clean some barley out of there back into a field bin. Whew. Let's get it. <laughs> First cab off the rank, beans. So basically, as you can see, the seed goes out of the truck, up through an auger, and then comes over to these shakers over here. Exactly the same setup as what's in the back of your header. It's like a bunch of sieves. It allows the right size grain to go through, separates the bad stuff, separates the pods, blows anything away that shouldn't be in there. And then 
goes out the other side, up the auger, into the bin, voila, we have clean teeth. And what's left over at the end is coming out into the feed mixer. That'll be cracked grain, undersized grain, bits of pod, bits of husk, whatever you want to say. And all that's just going to get fed straight to the sheep. Hence why it's going straight into the feed mixer. Had to go get some hearing protection. I've forgotten how loud this job is. Damn, just about half deaf already. <laughs> Alrighty, beans are done. Got about 10 tonnes of beans. That's about all we need to feed. Time to change over to wheat. Let's do it. feed mixer under for the screening then we're going to have to empty the truck uh, get all the last of the beans out of that into a field bin back there clean that out and then we'll put the vetch in the truck and then we can move on to the vetch next <laughs> good times hey good times The wheat is going through swimmingly. Uh, they're probably about halfway through. I just had a quick stop though. Had to uh, grab myself um, a few refreshments, a bit of a snack, and a refreshing beverage. But uh, yeah, back to it. Back to the grind. How long to go now on the wheat? Another half an hour, we should be definitely done. Well, the wheat's done. Vetch and barley to go. Guess we better keep on moving, eh? <laughs> He's just having a good clean out here at the moment, then we're gonna move over to this big bin over here. And uh, 
Yeah, we'll get our barley done as well. Well, she's been a pretty big day. It's about 6 p.m. now, and we haven't even started the barley yet, so... Yeah, we're gonna be here late, I reckon, if we're gonna do the whole lot. Be good to get it out the way, though. At least it's done, then. One less job to worry about, one less thing on your mind. See so, yeah, how we go. Got the veg to go. <laughs> She's gonna be a late one. Well, guys, we're under lights. I can't hear myself talk with those in. <laughs> um, yeah, we're under lights. This has been so incredibly hard to try and film this um, while I'm trying to help him out. So I have no idea how this footage is gonna go. We've got still got the veg to go. It's like eight o'clock at night. Man, what a day. <laughs> That's all I have to say. What a day. Yeah, as I was saying before, this has been incredibly hard to film while I've been trying to help him. And I think he's been a little bit annoyed with me, to be honest, for having the camera out. But anyway, what are you going to do? We're on our last lot now. We've got about eight tonne of vets to go. And then we're going to call it a night. It's about nine o'clock at night now. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock at night now. So, ah, uh, well, it's good to have it done. Like I said, one less thing, one less job to do, one less thing on your mind. So, whew, what a day. Oh, well, that's the end of another challenging day, I tell you what. Um, yeah, I'm glad that's over, sea cleaning's done. It's definitely a chore to get that one done, but uh, nevertheless, happy days. Um, found it a little bit difficult getting the camera out today, but uh, anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching the video, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.